Alrighty, happy Thursday. So we have our whiteboard. Our equipment is, I'm gonna be using a BOSU. Realistically, you could use a slam ball. Um, and then we do have a slam ball that we're gonna need. Dumbbells are gonna be optional today. And then a jump rope as well. Uh, the sliders are just sitting there. We're not actually using them. <coughs> so, today we are going to, I'll just turn on the clock and just get it moving just so you know what it looks like. So we're going to start at zero and we're going to count up from zero. We're going to see how fast we can complete all exercises, but we're going to go two rounds. So rip through all of them and then a second time through with all of them. So pretty straightforward today. So we are gonna get the legs moving. We're gonna hit the legs a little bit, uh, but it is kind of a full body with some cardio mixed in. So <clears throat> the first one, I didn't put dumbbells on there. You can use dumbbells if you want. So I would suggest use them to really burn the legs out. So grab the dumbbells, even though it's not written on the whiteboard, I'd like to see most, unless the form starts to break down, uh, then get rid of the dumbbells. So we're gonna start, you can start on the right or the left leg, doesn't matter to me, because you're gonna be doing both. So in that lunge position, you're gonna do a hop, and then a jump. Hop and jump. You're gonna be moving any direction you want. So just kinda move as you go, little hop, big jump, so the hop is just more of like a pulse, and then the jump is more for explosiveness, get some height. So you're gonna do 25 total on the one leg. So each hop and then jump counts as one. Hop, jump for two, you're going up to 25. Once you hit 25 on one leg, then you're gonna switch and you're gonna do the same exact thing on the other leg. So like I said, I put right then left. If you wanna do left and right, doesn't matter to me. So make sure you get both legs, make sure you get all the way to 25 on both of them. The next one, actually the next two, you are gonna need dumbbells or something heavy. So <clears throat> the speed squats, pretty straightforward. It's gonna be 50 reps on both. So dumbbells on the shoulders, keep the chest nice and up, stay back on the heels off the toes, and make sure you get the elbows down to the knees. This is the position you want. Keep those toes off the ground. Stand, down, and stand. So all the power should be coming from the heels. If you're feeling all through the upper legs, do 50 squats with the dumbbells. Then you're going into 50. Squat jumps for as much height as you can. So on those squat jumps, make sure you reset into that squat position straighten the legs and get some height on those. So you do 50 of those as well. Then we're going to use the jump rope and we're going 100 with the reps. So as fast as you can, move those jump ropes and get up to 100. So 100 with these heavy jump ropes is, is quite a chore. So if you want to challenge yourself and you're, and you're a pretty decent jump roper and you have a speed rope at home, then go up to 200 instead of one or at least 150. So get those reps up, get the heart rate up, get them moving as fast as you can. The next one is me with the slam ball. So this one, especially for the slam ball, this one's pretty high rep. So <clears throat> make sure you use good form. Start with the squat, keep the chest up, wind up, Bump the head and slam. And you're gonna get to 50 as fast as you can. So get those heart rates up and drive them into the floor. The next one, reps drop a little bit because burpee tucks are a little bit more grueling. So kick it out, get all the way down on the burpee, then up then tuck the knees and then right back down. So make sure you get the knees up to the chest. Make sure when you come down, you land it soft, land it quiet. So 
So you're going 25 of those. The last two, I'm gonna be using a BOSU. So if you have anything that emulates this, if you don't, you can also use just uh, flat on the ground for this one. But everyone has like a pillow or something to shift your hands across. So grab a pillow, grab something that kind of, you can shift your hands on basically is what this, uh, what this grill is gonna be about. So you're gonna put one hand on, one hand on the ground. So you're gonna push up, shift across, push, shift across and push. You can also do this on a slam ball. So the slam ball is actually more difficult. So this way you can do the push up, shift across, push. Every push up counts as one. You do 25 total of those. Either the ball, Bosu, pillow, something that's kind of unstable where you can shift the hands across. You use the core a lot more and it works the shoulders a good amount when you're shifting across something that's kind of wobbly. So see what you have laying around and do the best you can with that one. And then the last one is gonna be 100 lateral speed stomps. This one can be done on a ball or a BOSU. Just going side to side, stomping in the middle, shifting the feet nice and quick and you're going to 100. So that's nine things. You're going through all nine, get all the reps in. Obviously I'm not gonna be there to watch you. So make sure you do all the reps and make sure you go through it two rounds. So twice through and then comment below how fast you did it. So the clock will be counted up from zero. Fly through as quick as you can. And uh, some will be faster, some will be slower, but that's not a, not a big deal. Just get a good sweat in. Uh, battle battle through it and uh, and hopefully it's a good one for you so get outside it's sunny out enjoy the weather uh, it's gorgeous out find a park and do it there um, outdoor workout 4 30 p.m. today 4 30 p.m. tomorrow so Thursday and Friday and then Friday is also 5 45 a.m. outdoor workouts and uh, Hope we see everyone there this weekend, 10.30 a.m. Uh, we're gonna do outside, we're gonna do something a little different this this uh, this weekend. So we're kind of putting together a rugged north uh, obstacle course workout down at uh, Crosby Farm. So we'll, we will be meeting there. I'll be putting all the details up on social media. So if you wanna join us, please, um, please come on Saturday. It'll be a lot of fun. And uh, I've got some pretty cool ideas to uh, Make it rugged, make it fun, make it doable, but also make it challenging. So hopefully everyone can make it. 10.30 Saturday, 10.30 Sunday. And uh, have an awesome day. We'll see you tomorrow.